If you guys don't know who Robert Schaefer is, then you're going to want to stick around for this one. This is truly a remarkable story. I thought I had heard of everything until I ran across this. This is mind blowing. So, so it was one fall day in 1980 in this New Jersey campus and college where Robert Schaefer was making his way to his dorm. Keep in mind, this was the first time that he had ever stepped foot on this campus. Yet, he couldn't help but notice that everybody was staring at him. And not only that, some people were greeting him like if they knew him already. Things only got worse once he got to his room. He finally sits down his bags and starts unpacking. At that time, this kid comes in to say, Hey, Eddie, I thought you weren't coming back this year. To which Robert says, Who the hell is Eddie? This guy, who his name is Michael Domitz, says, Come on, man, stop playing around. But for the life of him, Robert doesn't know who this guy is. So Michael, realizing that Robert really doesn't know who he is, asks him a few questions. He asks him, Are you adopted? And Robert says, Yeah, I am, actually. And he asks him for his birthday, to which Robert replies with his birthday. Michael says, Holy crap, I think you have a twin brother. Robert and Michael, both perplexed by the whole situation, decide to go and call this so-called Eddie. And holy shit, Eddie sounds just like Robert. He can't believe it. Michael and Robert hop on the car and go meet Eddie at his house, even though it was 10 p.m. When they get there, holy crap, they're identical twins. They have similar taste in music, food, and women. Eddie's mom states that she had no idea when she adopted Eddie that he had a twin brother. Soon enough, though, the newspaper would get a hold of the story, making the twins a pair of local celebrities in New York. But this is where the story gets weirder. As the brothers were gaining notoriety around the New York area, even appearing in one of Madonna's music videos, it was one day that a guy named David Kalman ran across the story. He couldn't help something peculiar looking about the twins, and called Eddie's mom to see if he could meet the twins. She said, yeah, come on over whenever you want. And this is the other bombshell in the story. David Kelman is the third brother. How could this happen? Who let this happen? There were many questions left to be answered. For the time being, the boys got to partying and spending every waking second with each other that they had lost. The party though would be short lived as to the boys were to find out the real reason why they were separated at birth. And the truth is very sinister. So this here is Dr. Peter Norbauer, a psychoanalyst. He, along with the Jewish adoption agency, Lewis Y Services, were the ones responsible for separating the twins at birth. They wanted to perform an experiment and see how different social and economical differences would affect a child's upbringing. Because the boy's mother had a lot of dependencies and psychological issues. So he gave one of the boys to a rich family, one to a poor family, and one to a middle class family. It turns out, though, that nature is a lot stronger than nurture. All the boys ended up inheriting the mother's psychological issues and dependencies. And unfortunately, Eddie, the second brother in the story, ended up committing suicide. This is a cautionary tale of nature versus nurture and medical and psychological malpractice. Like and follow for more stories like this.